biggest things that happened was was that it got popular. And with that popularity comes a level of fame and, and things people were chasing the fame and not really understanding that for this thing to be that, you can't just be on the stage. You also have to wear another hat, say, I got to promote a spot or have to do shows, events. You know, you can't, too many people were just wanting to just show up somewhere mm -hmm. and not and not realizing that for in order for this, for somewhere, for this to be possible to have a platform, you can't just be you showing up. You have to get dirty too, meaning you 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 might need to throw a night. You not you need to throw an event. You have to there there isn't enough people as far as the artists now who do to do the things necessary to 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 gin up the interest and the excitement that it was when what I would say maybe six seven years ago when it was just like. When I first moved, I moved here. I've been here like ten years. When I, I first, I remember when you moved. I was doing. Me and cocktails were doing an open mic at uh, Uptown, Uptown, at Uptown yep. Comedy when it was yep. down off of West uh, Peachtree. Uh, yep. yep. And, and I remember you said something about Creflo Dollar. Like, no, <laughs> this new Negro didn't come. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I but digressed. Yeah, <laughs> there was there was people, but that that was you know you had a, a bits and cocktails, and you had a lot of people who just there was a there was something going on. Every night of the week, sometimes two or three events, and you could. There was a lot of, so it, meaning that people were taking the time to promote and getting people in, and you could go to a lot of these. Now, maybe three spots in a week, you know, and two of those have just been going on forever. Apache Cafe, Java Monkey. Mm -hmm. During the rest of the week, there's not that much because everybody's just waiting to show up. Everybody just wants to be a superstar. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be able to walk in and people know their name and all, all the stuff that at the end of the day really don't matter. So you got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who can I get in free can at I the get door? In? You got yeah. Me. <laughs> and that's the thing that those are the things people chased. You know what I'm saying? And so now you look up, you know, nobody's been taking care of the the, the, the house. You know, mm -hmm. the, it, when, when uh on color purple. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't nobody tending to the chickens. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, the paint's falling off. They ain't, ain't nobody working. Right. Everybody just want to show up. You know, and well, I think that's for the new people because the pioneers. Like well, no, themselves. yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, but because like, we, I think that I, I, am, I feel like there's a new. It's going to be a, a new genesis of spoken word because it's already been brewing. It really is the exodus because we've already laid the groundwork yeah. and it's time. You know what I'm saying? We out here, we 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 beyond grinding. We innovating. We doing our own TV shows, our radio shows, um, and people don't know. The problem is there's a spoken word world, but the world don't know about it. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Our promotion. Like, we have some of the most grand events. Like, last night alone, there were three events, four, four events that people went to. You had the Hank Stewart thing at uh, Metro Fusion. Mm -hmm. You had Marley's. You had, um, there was, uh, uh, there's another event tonight. There's, so, there's a lot of events that go on, but everybody don't know about it. That's the problem. And 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 we, we, we promote to the same people. Exactly. There's six million people in Atlanta, six million. And we still promote to the same thousand uh five thousand that come to the poetry spot that know about it when it's so many people every time um someone finds out i'm a poet no matter where i'm at like, i don't even know they did poetry in atlanta how can you not know they do poetry in atlanta but they don't because there's no constant um um presence like with joyce when you had uh poetic moments everybody knew three million people was gonna come, tune in on thursday night to listen to the poetry. So there's obviously a demand. Whenever you have a show, you sell it out. It's about it being promoted. People want to come. It's still the excitement. I just was, um, this weekend I was in Columbus at the Poets Ball, at the Gala. Oh, y'all got to see my pictures. I saw them, uh, and that silver uh, dress. Yes, yes, like, yes, stop yes. stop it. You know, <laughs> yes. If you want it to be the Oscars, you must come as if it's the Oscars. You understand me? <laughs> and... And that's what, but those type of things happen all the time in my life as a poet. And I've been doing this for 15 years, so it's so many different events and different um, um, projects that people put on, like with, with Malik and Tommy diversifying with Eternal. By, you know, as a poet, you're not just a poet, you're everything that it encompasses art. You understand me? You're a teacher and you're a producer and you're a writer and you're an actor. So you can diversify into many, many, many things. And I think that the the poetry 
I want them to fall off. I want the people who ain't about nothing, who Thank just you. got into it because they just thought that it was something to pop and they want to hustle the game. Yeah. I want them to fall off because their intention is not right. And, and Everybody, Georgia, and Georgia as, pardon my interruption, but you know, I'm at that age. I have to get it out when I think about it. Um, that's That was my comment. My comment was it was too many people who wanted to get in it because it became popular and not be in it because of the culture and the rich heritage that it had. And, and, and just to piggyback on that, um, the level of, because of that, it watered down the talent. Yes, So what Lord. happened, so now, because see, with George, George is making a good point about um, being able to appeal to the art being able to, because it, it can transcend different um, generations, it can transcend different cultures, different socioeconomic statuses, but what happens is, the the because it became watered down with a lot of mediocre talent, most people don't want to hear that. Yes, they get so. exposed to it one time, and I'm like, I don't. That's lame. I, I in in my interview in my interview on uh, Sunday, I had an interview on Sunday, and 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 we we really delved into that, and I said. When, especially from from my from my aspect and and what I've always tried to provide for for passion and poetry because I I try to put as much time effort money mm. in, in it as as possible and I said when 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 I get you for the first time at passion and poetry mm-hmm. I gotta land you mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know because yeah, yeah. this is something that I'm trying to bring back year mm-hmm. and year and I'm 15 years in mm-hmm. year and year after a- after I have been able to do that mm-hmm. is because I'll go get you mm-hmm. I because I go and get Georgia mm-hmm. and 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 rely on Georgia's uh insight mm-hmm. in saying Georgia uh who can I get mm-hmm. half of the poets, half of the women poets that performed on Passion and Poetry were recommendations mm-hmm. of Georgia. Mm-hmm. I can't argue with her. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But, I can't, but Joyce, I can't but Joyce, argue you know with some, her. But huh? you know something, Joyce? A lot of us, and this is the reason, and I have to say this because any poets might be listening, share the wealth. A lot of people would not want to recommend anyone other than themselves, yeah. thinking that it's, it's it's only so much. I don't think like that, and that's the thing about our poetry world. People only think it needs to be one. If it's only one, there's no industry. Right. That's why I I recommend Tommy and Abyss and a Ice and a an Emerald and a Bird and a Rewap and, and a, a Tasha Tasha Jones and a Ruckus. Oh, and Georgia a ruckus. brought me Ruckus. Do you know Ruckus <laughs> I mean, is it's, it's Ruckus? Yeah, yeah. What? We were doing a set out at, at Taboo 2. And, you know, Georgia said, go on out there and tell mm. Joyce I sent you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she shut it down. Weeks later, mm. I brought her back. And mm. I brought her back every year mm. from, 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 from Denver mm. because of the people like you. Ruckus come. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know. I mean, but, but, but Georgia is not just in the talent. Mm. But from a business standpoint, mm. it's in the business, too. Yeah. It's in the business too. That's, you got, that's the only you, way. You got people. You got people who have a a, a, a massive e blast or whatever, 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 and you can't even get to them. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. But that's why they stay limited. <sighs> and I and and I. That's my thing. Holding back anything. Um, for yourself, I'm not saying you don't have to handle your business, but this is a community and a, a, a poetry industry. And if you're not helping promote everything you can that comes through the poetry industry, then you don't really love this. You're selfish, and it's just what it is. I tell you, selfish. A lot of people aren't as outspoken as I am. They're poets, but they're still scared to talk. I'm not. And I feel like if we all promote each other's projects, and we all, especially those people who are you know, innovating and pioneering and, and are making an impact on the world. And it, it don't have to be me. When Teresa Davis got her own day, I shared it. And people was like, um, you know, I didn't know y'all was close. We don't have to be close. She's a fellow poet who got her own day. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, when, with your project, with, with um, Passion and Poetry, I might not be on the show, but I'm still going to call you and say, you need to put blah, blah, blah on your show. Yes, she did. You feel me? <laughs> I mean, that, I'm going to do that. I'm not yeah. that girl. I'm not going to sit and be like, well, I ain't on the show, so bump that. No, this is my art form. Mm-hmm. This is my genre. This is my industry. And I wanted to be represented in the best way possible. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't, when I did Versus and Flow, I sent them a list of poets to choose from. Every school I go to, I leave a list. 
not only they want poets, but whatever art they want. Because this is not for me to hold. This is for me to share and let folk know these are some great artists over here. If you don't know about you like me, you're going to love them. Yeah. And that's how it should be. When the rappers put out a song, when they put out an album, every rapper on Twitter say, go get that Nick Mill. Go get that Kendrick Lamar. Go get that. You feel me? That They ain't on the same label. They ain't in the same camp. They in the same genre. So that's what I want for poets. I want us to, to you know, uplift each other and, and promote each other and be real with each other. Therefore, I'll give you a prime example. One of the best poets out right now, Ed Mabry. Ed Mabry is a beast, like unbelievable. But five years ago, I wasn't impressed. <laughs> Five years ago, I wouldn't put him on the show. Five years ago, I'm like, you had sex with him? That's how I was acting, you know what I'm saying? But now, I understand why he get the coupon chain. I understand why. Why he get what? <laughs> the coupon chain, the glory, the pride, you oh. know what it is. <laughs> then, you know, it, they get better. So that's, that, that's part of the game. But we got to be able to tell each other, you need to practice. Yeah. You need to do this. Yeah. You need to do, you know, so they, so they can become great. So that we all can look at somebody and call them and not worry if they're going to bomb the show. I know that when you do passion poetry and you have your open mic, you be scared because they're going on the stage. <laughs> and, you're like, and you're like, Lord, please don't let them bomb on my show. You know what I'm saying? So that's important for you to not have to worry about that. Right. You know, knowing that every person with your stage is going to kill and bring it. So... I, I just think we we growing. Like when I uh I did my T V show in December. Fantastic. Six shows in two days. All amazing talent. All raw. All real. All unedited. All uncoerced. That type of view is gonna be seen on T V. It's gonna be um what people are gonna know about our world. It's gonna be a whole uh, But I mean but I mean, Georgia, the, the the thing about it is you are one person among so many who who does not have the same passion that you have when it comes to sharing because I'm the same one. I never forget when I was on the on on the radio and had that platform for the poets and I would hear these comments like, "Well, you got to go through and you got I'm like, "You ain't got to go through nobody. <laughs> you ain't got to do call this damn number." <laughs> you know yeah, Cuz yeah. I wasn't that type of girl. That's you exactly know? What I mean? Just come. Just, just come. Just come. <laughs> they just think it's that they think it's that hard because a lot of times, Joyce, it is that hard for poets. Even a poet of my caliber will go through uh, a hazing when I go places. But I don't take it personally because I know I'm going to monster. But I know I'm going to kill. The, the only reason it's dead, the only reason you got to go through is, like I said, it's too many lames doing it. You know what I'm saying? If there, Instead of, if I don't know how, if there's probably, just say there's 10,000 poets in the country. Mm-hmm. Nine thousand nine hundred and eighty of them suck. <laughs> That's not the truth. Shit. That is not the truth. Shit. That's not. I'm gonna tell you why. Shit. I, know that. I'm gonna I tell don't you like why. most of this stuff. I'm gonna most tell you why. Most poetry sucks to me. I'm gonna tell you why that's not true. Georgia, because I, I, that's I, not true. That's not true. I just want to say that's not true. Because Tommy is jaded, first off. Let me say that. <laughs> just like every guy. I'm every man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but, I, but also, I don't know how many poets that Tommy has seen, but if I can write down 100 poets, which I did last year, over 120 poets that I wrote down and put on Facebook, who I believe are the bomb or are coming up and going to make an impact. It's, it's, it's a whole bunch of poets I didn't even mention. Out of 120, I didn't. I wasn't not going. Let me put blah 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 on here because think you it's tried. 120. It's more than 120. <laughs> that was me being reserved. But um, me putting up the it is. It's, I, I think I think it's a I think it's a great number of of poets and and I've had the pleasure of seeing quite a bit of them myself. But I was um I was with Georgia and and Sheba and and at the uh, an event Sheba did. And I was one of the judges. And they got on me. <laughs> Cause my scores wasn't Too as high, high, oh, weren't as, as, high. As, as Georgia's mm. or if, if and a dichotomy was mm. sitting there too. Mm. And as his. And so I had to explain to them, because I believe they were about to take my big ass and throw me out the door. <laughs> but I had to sp- explain to them that I have a different ear. Mm-hmm. And 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 I am a I, I don't have a writer's ear. 
but I have an ear in which you better paint this damn mm -hmm. picture to where mm -hmm. once you finish, I can get a sketch pad mm -hmm. myself and be like, yeah. I know exactly where he or she was going and mm -hmm. what they were trying to get get me to receive. Mm -hmm. That's where I you got to win me at. You got to win me at when you come off that damn stage with spinning them words that I have, I, I understood your message. And, and, and for me, when I've uh, attended some poetry events around town and, and, and Georgia, no, I followed her ass mm. to New York. Mm. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. I follow, I follow the people that I, that I have passion for mm. and I try to support them mm. as best possible. I mm. might not have the same platform mm. as I had, mm. although I have given it to her, mm. but anyway, yeah. <laughs> we gonna leave it at that. <laughs> we gonna leave it at that. But, but, but my thing is, from from a from a person who who can't write but loves it, mm -hmm. and that's why I put my time and effort mm -hmm. and 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 what money I have behind it is that when you leave that stage, damn it, you better I better know exactly to where the hell you were going mm -hmm. and where I need to follow you to go. And, go ahead. And that's what I that's why I, that was some of the things that I weren't getting. I believe Georgia's gonna take me by the hand and take me outside. And, <laughs> and, like, and that's a that's an interesting point because like <laughs> at, when I was saying like the long answer, yes, pop poetry is still popular because if you if there is a a whole lot of poets all over the country, a lot of them. And and when I say poetry sucks, I mean it as far as an everyday person. Like I can go in places and, and appreciate certain things that another person might not, just because I've been around it. But most of it, eighty five percent of it is only poets talking to each other. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's a whole uh, eighty. That's why I say eighty five percent of it is garbage. You know that you you can and that's like mostly I shouldn't say mostly in the slam community. The slam community is self sufficient, and that's why I say it's still popular because really, outside of that world, you kind of we out here kind of flaying on our arms a little bit. But the slam community, if you do well in the slam, go to the nationals and the regionals and do well, you can eat. If you go ahead and win, go ahead and win national, you're gonna be remembered forever. You know what I'm saying? You will travel, you will eat. And so it's self-sustaining, but a majority of that slam poetry only appeals to other slam artists. The guy yeah. out here that works for Bell South mm -hmm. probably is not going to be that impressed by it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. That's why I say 85% of it sucks. There's 10% of it that's pretty good, and only 5% of it can probably transcend to just the everyday common person. Because Miss Manners wanted to know what makes poetry suck. When, when, when well, when I that. say suck, I, and, that's, and that's why it's kind of a subjective term, because for me, I'm just a beer and whiskey guy. I just happen <laughs> to do poetry. If I wouldn't have just fell into this, I probably wouldn't be a person that would really be impressed by it. Mm -hmm. So for me, most, a lot of it is just stuff that I'm like, it's whatever the stereotype of poetry is and what people be like, you know, make fun of, because we're, we're a butt of a lot of jokes. You know what I'm saying? We're, 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 poetry is really only a step above miming, you know what I mean, as far as entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's so I under... It's totally disrespected. Say it again. It's totally disrespected. Oh, yeah, most people don't, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's and, and that's because it, of the people who do it. And it, it's, it, and, and because I, I, I remember when I started, um, uh, Miss Manners, uh, let me address this before I go into mine. She she wants to know, isn't uh, that the same with rappers? How how do can they be defined as different or alike? Well, as far as poetry and rap, yeah. Well, it's all words. Actually, poetry and rap is is really they're not really the same. Poetry is, or I should say, spoken words. Spoken words really more in line with comedy or comedians. They're more in line with that than we are rappers. Mm -hmm. um, it, Why do you compare the two? Uh, well, one, uh, comedy and poetry or spoken word, it's all it's about timing. It's mm -hmm. just you, the microphone, there's no music, there's no accompaniment. Um, you have to be able to relate to an audience. You got to, just like a comedian has to know what jokes are going to be able to walk into a room, what, what jo set of jokes is going to work for this audience. Um, the timing of that joke, same thing with it doing a poem. You know what I mean? You've got a, a poem grows, and you mm -hmm. you might have to do that poem a different way in front of a different audience. Mm -hmm. You know, depending, it's just like as a, it, it's, there's a level, it's, 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 it's memorized, but there's a lot of impromptu to it as well. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, um, it's a, it's you having a conversation with the audience, just like a comedian. 
I'm, I'm, it's just me, a microphone, and an audience. You know, I think because of the cadence sometimes in, in the rhyme scheme sometimes, we a lot of time we compare it to rap. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's, it's two completely different things. Um, and, it, and, you know, people will listen to me because I'm from the hip-hop generation. It's going to have a hip-hop sound, a hip-hop mm -hmm. kind of, you know, because that's, that's me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But I, 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 I see us having more in common with comedians than, than rappers. So uh, she also wants to know, so is the message important as a poet, uh, uh, Georgia and Tommy, is the message important? Because from a, from a listener, it is to me. Mm -hmm. But from, from, a, from a writer and a, and a spoken word artist, is it important? I, for me, it is. I, yeah. That's the most important thing. Like, what's the point? Like, I mean, that's. <laughs> I think that's what makes us a mockery is the intentions of a lot of the artists. You know, um, you can be talking about bleeding eyes in Afghanistan, but that's just some 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 crap you read or saw on the news, and it's not really something that you really feel, and you're not relating it to your everyday experience. So it's not delivered. The message is everything to me. If you don't have uh, that as the foundation, then it doesn't matter. Like, but it, it also depends on the audience and. As poets, like, if you were talking about being a dishwasher, I might be irritated, but the audience enjoys the way you're talking about being a dishwasher. So I have to respect that you're able to deliver to that crowd your message. To me, you know, it don't always have to be, you know, save the world or let me tell you about yourself or, you know, because like with Passion and Poetry, it's strictly about love and sex mm -hmm. and passion and eroticism and, and, and adventure. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're not going to hear about Trayvon Martin right. at Passion and Poetry. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, so to me, it, it, as long as you deliver the message um, beautifully, not just you went on stage and you read something, it actually got over through the crowd. Like, oh, you a dishwasher. I understand. I work at the hospital. If that happens, then good job. But to me, the message is everything. Like, I don't even understand why you up there if you ain't got a purpose. Uh -huh. But like Tommy said, you got a lot of people who just, you know, we all require attention, every person on the planet. So however you have to get that, you're going to get that. So spoken word and open mic has opened it up for a lot of people to, you know, get their star on. And I don't have no problem with that, me personally. I, I have a problem with people like me and Tommy being lumped into the same group. That's yeah. what I have and, that, and that's and that's the, and that's the other thing. So, do you pick and choose then, knowing that you don't want to be put into a, a, a certain box? Well, do you pick and choose what you do and what yeah, not do? You have to, um, and but it becomes that balance between eating and and remaining uh, having a level of integrity. So I can say, mm -hmm. no, you know, a lot. If my pockets is hurt, if there's a little spot cracking. Mm -hmm. I might need to go make me a quick fifty, sixty dollars. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? At a place I probably shouldn't be performing at. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, and I, I go into it knowing, man, I should not be up in here. You know what I'm saying? But, but then, you know, I might need my phone bill paid, or I just might want to whatever, whatever. I mean, we all need money. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. for whatever I need it for. Um, but then, so you, but then, but then, and I, and I get it. Because what ends up happening? Me, if, if it ends up, if it ends up being at a place that you shouldn't have gone, and someone who's new to the new to the scene of wanting to be mm -hmm. entertained, mm -hmm. uh, and saw you in this environment, then they like they put clump you with. Well, they'll say, "Oh, you're yeah." That, well, they'll say, "Oh, you're good," but then they'll. But what happens is. Um, Cause I don't I don't really worry about that as much. Cause I, I always feel like I'm gonna stand out anyway wherever mm -hmm. wherever I go. Give me but a I'll, Heineken or a cocktail. But <laughs> but, <laughs> but um what ends up happening though is um one it, it hurts you in the longer run as far as if people see you too many little free spots mm -hmm. then it's like why would I want you 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 diluted your brand to the point where well now I don't want to pay, pay you or not just pay you or why would I pay to go see you mm -hmm. if I'm if I could see you in some coffee shop. Right for for nothing, you know what I'm saying. Um, so it, it 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 becomes that balance, you know what I'm saying. And then you also get the the person who who's not that good, not that seasoned, 
who now has going to is getting ready to tell the world I just shared in his resume and his bio is going to read I just shared the stage with George and me <laughs> you know what I'm saying and you're going to I've ran across that yeah. people I have never I don't know but we probably pref- on some open mic in some random place now all of a sudden we're colleagues no we're not colleagues mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying um, that's why when I go up on stage and I tell Tommy and I tell Emerald and everybody else you have to make sure that you're brought up right and you're presented right to be mm-hmm. distinguished between the aspiring and you're an inspirational poet. There's mm-hmm. a difference. Mm-hmm. People teach us. People uh, watch us and study us. People, we have a demand. We get called to come places. There's a difference. And that ha- and ain't nothing ain't saying nothing about people coming up. But when you got 10 years plus in the game, you get you get certain accolades and, 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 and passes that a person just starting don't. And that needs to be okay. It don't need to be, oh, they think they some stuff. Um, when you got 41 states, then holler at me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you when you traveled outside this country several times, or let's say you ain't been nowhere, let's just say you've been asked by at least 25 spots to come somewhere. Not that you done called and bugged them. When can I feature? That's not the same. And not that we don't we don't do that too, because we have relationships in this game. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming through this way. Um, what y'all got popping? That's part of the game. But when that's your only game, you don't have a demand. You need to get your demand up. And we need to be able to say that to each other, like. You're not, you know, uh, someone who I'm very proud of and I see moving, you know, strong people like Dichotomy and Tina mm-hmm. ATL. They are diversifying. They are moving. They are trying. They've gotten better. They, they're creating demand. They, you know, um, you know, with the open mics, you know, you can go to an open mic. How you present it will dictate whether or not you get a private party mm-hmm. because I do a lot of private parties. That's how I eat. If it wasn't for the private party, the barbecue, the bar mitts for the baby shower, <laughs> I would not eat. And that's a, and they don't come at me with no hundred dollars. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's that's another thing. We we go out here too often for less than what we're worth. It ain't that people can pay you what you're worth, but they need to try as best as possible to give you a good offering. Mm-hmm. Period. A lot of poets are just desperate. I come and sell my CDs. I travel and sell my CDs. No, my CD money is is weave money. You understand me? My CD money is a uh, child baby. You understand me? It is not a rent. It is not light bill. And they, people don't really realize we live off of this. They really right. think that, you know, there are people who have jobs. But they don't really understand we, if we don't sell, we don't work, we don't eat. Right. They don't get it because they cousin do poetry. And <laughs> they're like, well, I get my cousin to do it. Then get your cousin to do it. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to be as great. It's not going to be the, the, the icing on the cake that you want. And we don't present ourselves that way. Yeah. That is the problem. Well, and, 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 the, and the thing is, um, from, a, from a person who has to pay, What's your worth? (laughs) Believe me, been there. (laughs) And and, and not out of disrespect. I mean, believe me, I had a conversation about three weeks ago with somebody. (laughs) And and I respect her. I respect her wholeheartedly because she stood firm. Mm-hmm. It, I like, like mm-hmm. this. All I can do, yeah, yeah. well, you, you ain't got me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and 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 it saw on the street. Mm-hmm. And we'll hug her, give her some sugar, mm-hmm. yeah. and be like, "You my girl." That just business. It just business. Mm-hmm. I mean, and and and, and I totally, I totally mm-hmm. understand. But you know, I make calls and I'd be like, "What? What?" What's what? What is everybody asking for? Yeah. So I'll know not to mm-hmm. be disrespectful. Mm-hmm. You know, especially on the ones who are doing very well, like the dichotomies. Mm-hmm. And you want to respect mm-hmm. his his mm-hmm. efforts. Mm-hmm. But what di- what what dichotomy is is offered? And part my name use, but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Is so far mm-hmm. from what you have to prey on mm-hmm. to offer her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta get on your knees, yeah. <laughs> like, Lord. Mm-hmm. Can you provide the yeah. resources? Yeah. For, and it should be like that. Because because be. you can't, I cannot pick up the phone and disrespect her. Mm-hmm. And I cannot keep utilizing the relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, I know she'll do it. Mm-hmm. I know she will. Mm-hmm. But I cannot expect, I cannot, I cannot keep, I can't disrespect her like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. I can. I got to mm-hmm. come somewhere well, near, nearby close. This, so I got close. Let me say this. George, let me tell you, let me say this, though. And uh, With a lot of poets, and we probably the only genre that do this. We don't just work for money. 
You feel me? Mm-hmm. We get paid in ways that man can't see. Our relationships, um, I, this, I'm going to speak for myself. My relationships with people is much more valuable than the paper money that they could give me. There are things like, for instance, with you, there's not, I don't recall anything that I've ever asked you to do or be a part of or help or come out that you didn't come. Maybe one time when you got, we was too tired trying to be Superwoman, which I understand. <laughs> I remember that. But, but other than that, people come. Like when I, when I did my, my, my TV show in December, I didn't have a dime to pay anybody. And to me, confessable, I don't have a dime to pay anybody. But people come based on my relationships with them. So it's not so much just, it's one thing we just try to get over all the time. There are people who do that period, and we know them people, and we don't mess with them. But other than that, if you've actually shown um, beyond uh, gratitude to the community and you've contributed to the community, we honored you the first Tamika Festival, not because I knew you, and because I still you, really, got mm-hmm. you, you really have contributed to the, the life of the Atlanta poetry scene. So that has to be recognized. Karen Marie Mason has been putting on productions and including poets for years. You know what I'm saying? Joy at Sugar Hill, when nobody else would let a poet go on that stage. And she is one of them people that's so real, she don't let every poet on her stage because they have bombed. You feel me? Mm-hmm. She is distinct about it, which is needed. You need people to say, no, I'm sorry, you're not ready. This ain't your, this ain't this your, ain't your time. This ain't your time. <laughs> and that <laughs> goes into, not to interrupt you, but that that, that point right there, um, there, there are those delusions of grandeur in, mm-hmm. in, in the poetry where, you know, you think that nobody wants to wait. Nobody, like, something as simple as getting, going to the Apache. Because Apache's an institution here. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, some people say, Oh, I bet you get in free. Well, exactly, I don't, but why do you care? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when I did start getting in free, it took me four or five years of really making a name and a brand for myself. You've been coming here six months, and you think because you got one good poem, we're the same. You don't eat, you know what I mean? We're mm-hmm. not, and, and those are the delusions of grandeur that really hurt the, hurt the genre. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that they they, they they go into an audience that they're not ready for. Mm-hmm. You can't go to, went back when it what was uh, the uh, sugar what not sugar shack uh, sugar, sugar, sugar hill. hill. Mm-hmm. You can't go in for that audience. Used to rock sugar hill. Used to love sugar hill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Woo! But you gotta we rock sugar hill. You can't oh go in there with that lane. <laughs> yeah. And you gotta and, and you and, and the thing is is there's no none of that. There's no sense of respect of people who you know who really and this happened you don't get good by luck mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying it is i didn't i didn't I, i'm a i'm a much better performer now than i was 10 years ago but it didn't happen by luck there's a lot of work that goes into that you know what i'm saying and people don't respect that part of it when you get disrespected and people say oh my cousin does it too or oh the, the second you say i nobody there's no other genre that people just say randomly nobody if i'm if i tell you i'm a comedian I don't immediately because I got a couple jokes that were equals now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not thinking I'm Eddie Murphy because I got a couple of knock knock jokes. You know what I'm saying? People, when you do poetry, people just assume I just jotted this down and I'm reciting it. You know what I'm saying? Man, there's a lot of work that goes into a lot of practice. People say, how do you memorize them poems that's so long? Because I practice and I have work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's that, it's, it doesn't come easy. Mm-hmm. And it's that level of, to me, that's where the disrespect comes. And then but but because that, of that disrespect, because... it gets flooded with a bunch of mediocrity. Yeah. And that's because of the ignorance, though, of it. That's what I'm saying. Like, every other entity has a reality show. Okay, every there's not one entity of industry or business that don't have dog walkers got a reality show so that you know how much work they do as dog walkers. The ladies who make walls got a reality show. The, the, the radio hosts, the, the cooks, the chefs, the nannies. When it comes to poetry, there is nothing that shows the process or the grind of what we do. So then, Period. so then, so then, so then, Georgia, Tommy, whose fault is that? Who's We're fault? working on it. <laughs> and we're working on it. Like, I'm telling you, like, my girl Tasha taking meetings. I got write-ups um, that we that we shopping. I know personally of five different reality shows out of L.A. that got uh, stopped because they was whack. They had the wrong people doing it. You feel me? Right. You can't have this, this art form represented by Joe Schmo who don't transcend. You can't. You got to have the folk that 
got testimonies and stories, and this is why they do it. That's why, like, the people that I roll with, and they say, Atlanta clickish, Atlanta ain't clickish. It's just that if you good, we coming at you. <laughs> we like, you my friend. Right. You my folk. You know, and it's, and even if you're not my friend, I respect your work. And that's why they say, and if it's something coming up, I know I can call Tommy. I know I can call Cola. I know I can call the bitch, and they going to do the dang thing. I ain't going to be embarrassed. I can't do that with just a regular poet who just been doing it for a year or two. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, you, I don't know if, you 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 turned me on to uh, Tasha. Tasha is coming on uh, Passion and Poetry. Uh, I I remember the first time she walked into. Uh, by the time I met Tasha, we were over at five ninety five, and all she said was Georgia sent me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Georgia sent you. Then cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she. What was the what 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 was the poem? Uh, you letting the flies in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you letting the flies in. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to come to the center stage. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and just and just and just killed it. Does she have a story? Because I remember the first thing she oh, said. Oh yeah. She she, she, she was story she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. And Beyond was, her being a teacher, her life, and yeah. that's the thing, what leads to the poetry. Some people's poetry is just them commenting on different situations in the world. A lot of our, our poetry is actual testimony of what we go through, what we've seen directly in our household. You know what I'm saying? And and that's definitely why uh, people like Tasha, people like Queen Sheba, Emerald Story, um, Sonny Patterson Story, Dana, you know, like, in, in doing this, you you got to have the background. We ain't it ain't salacious where you know everybody's necessarily getting their butt beat by their man and their daddy molest them. It ain't got to be that severe. But living life, being a single woman, being a mother, being a, a female in a male dominated genre, our relationships with our brother counterparts, all of that is a story that you know how we get around, how we travel around this country by ourselves as women. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like there are different stories. Um, the fact that Tommy deals with the health issues, I don't know if that's okay for me to say, Tommy, but you know, I feel like it's it aging, crazy <laughs> that you that you got asthma and you spit oh, how you throw do. that out there and look like, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know the, the lengths that Tommy been through. You know, we got a brother, a brother poet who um, needs a kidney transplant oh, yeah. and has. And and, and 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 almost went away from here. Yeah. You know, we had a sister earlier this year that 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 took her own life. Yeah. That was part of the poetry community. There's so there's so much there's that a goes story, on. There's a story. There's a story to be told. But I but the misfortune of it is is what we started the conversation off is is the is is the presentation and who's willing to take the torch and and to present it. Now you know in in my case I'm willing to take the torch. But for some reason, there aren't a whole lot of people mm. that want to work with a sister. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm like, I, 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 I hear. The, I think the question is less about who wants to take the church torch and, let, and more about who's going to fall back. That's what we. That's what we need more. Of. More people be like, fall back. Yeah. You muddying up the water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You muddying up the water. Fall back. There's probably something else you can do much better or be much more and, beneficial. And see, that's how, remember, remember Herb and, 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 and Clips when I've come in here, you know, in, in a moment of, of, of bitch, of vent, is when I go to places, when I go to places and they are people who have made themselves popular, you know, by doing what they do, I don't take mm. nothing away from that. Mm. But then when you go, they give you all of this hoopla. Come, 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 be there, be there, be there, be there. And then you get there, and it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You knew hundreds of people were going to come, yeah. and you knew you were going to have. And I'm just calling names just because they're in here. You were going to have quality poets like a George and me and a Tommy Bottoms. Why you give this presentation some BS right mm -hmm. here? I mean, I'm like, are you kidding me? And then you, and then you have people, and I'm venting right about now. You have people like me who will really go out and try to find the best looking mm. stage that my mm. little money can provide. And you, I got to catch mm. hay on that. I'm like, yeah. I don't believe this. Yeah. I don't believe it. Need, it. Need, it's the, <clears throat> the thing is, if it's ever, there, there's a, there's, I, and I, and I, you know, I don't, I'm not hoping I'm not sounding all arrogant. There's probably people like, man, this guy really thinks highly of himself. But I have to, you know <laughs> you what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's, all, it's just me it. out here. You know what <laughs> but I, I feel I could go anywhere. I could walk out right now 
on the street and give me an hour. It's hard hustle, <laughs> but I could make 50 bucks right here cold selling, just doing poetry. Is that the way to make it? There's much easier ways to eat, mm -hmm. but the, the fact is, there are some people out there. are, not, And I'm just mentioning me because I don't want to be name-dropping folks, but Georgia's one of them. There are people who can transcend, but Georgia gets lumped in with everything else out there. Yeah. The second you say you're a spoken word artist, Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and, 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 and understand it from, from a, and, and even understand it from a promoter standpoint, there's a couple of questions that I want you all to address that uh, people on chat are are asking about. Um, but there's there's one thing that, you know, I want to say is I have, I have traveled and booked with Georgia. And the only thing I'll say is Georgia is 50% white 50% <laughs> black this to age tell them Georgia that's all I say <laughs> go do you yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we get up and eat pancakes nigga <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I agree Ms. I agree Miss Manners uh, says and, and I'm going to give two questions uh, Miss Manners says there is an Atlanta poetry group full of old white people I was shocked not to see us. Where are those types of groups where poetry is shared, critiqued, and folks being groomed? Is there is well, there know, a space a, well, for that? Well, yeah, and you know that that's that's a great question. Really, though, to me, that's what coffee shops are for. When you see the coffee shop type of po like not saying type of po to me, places like that, or 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 just, I mean, I, if she wants some specific ones, I can name those for her. Mm -hmm. is, is that what she's asking? For? Uh, she just wanted. Uh, oh yeah, there's specific places that you can go, and to me, those places are for that i got i don't there there's everybody who does poetry is not looking to be some superstar or whatever you know what i'm saying there are a lot of people who just enjoy right and that's what makes poetry the unique art that it is you know what i'm saying if you if you if you decide to become a rapper you definitely don't want to just be in your basement forever doing it mm -hmm. there's, there's a level you definitely there's a level of success you probably want to attain some people just enjoy writing right and, I, yeah I, they are i i actually met a 75 year old woman her name is miss virginia muhammad mm -hmm. she's a writer poetry uh she, she writes poetry and she paints mm -hmm. when i tell you awesome awesome so as a gift to her mm -hmm. she don't know this yet i was going to put a um a, um a poetry night together mm -hmm. for her and i was going to talk to y'all yeah, but anyway yeah, that's yeah. that but yeah it's it, some people just but just just actually have the gift here's another question uh yeah and, and the, the question is do poets sometimes get ahead of their audiences uh intellectually yeah all the time because and that goes into the point i was making a lot of times poets are just talking either to themselves <laughs> or just to other poets and, and if it's not a conversation, if, it doesn't matter how, if, if I'm using all these big words or I'm using all these metaphors that you don't understand, then I didn't communicate anything to you. You know what I'm saying? Communication is me saying something or verbalizing something and you being able to take it in process. If, if I'm speaking a different language, if I speak Spanish, you don't understand Spanish, we didn't communicate. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm up here trying to show my intellectual prowess, you know, to an audience, and most people are just regular people, and sometimes poetry can get preachy. Yeah. It's like I didn't come to get it, preached it, it to. It can get preachy, and and to me, sometimes it can get so damn long. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm now lost. Yeah. I and and I think people try to you know, just, you know, take stay the course too long. Mm -hmm. But 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 uh, Georgia, what's your what's your take on uh, poetry? Well, that as far as length and stuff, that goes. That depends on the poet because some poet can keep yeah, you. Yeah, I get long with it. Tommy got a ten minute piece, but not just him. It's plenty of poets. I know. I mean, I have a piece right now that's seven minutes that I don't do because I haven't learned how to deliver this long ass piece. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and it's very emotional. So it ain't nothing that's light and funny that want to keep you up. So it's all in learning how to, you know, not only capture your audience and keep them. That's part of your job. And well, as far as the intellect, yes, they definitely try to show how smart they are and, and, and not, not in the context of their piece. And sometimes as a person who I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I am very intelligent. Mm -hmm. I know you. that's a lie. I know you use that word wrong. I know that's incorrect um, and that's just not poetic license. 
that is just grammatically wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or you you know using the word just to use the word. Uh, I I that's why they don't transcend though. That's why they stay in the poetry spot. They can't do every single as you know, Joyce. Mm-hmm. Myself, Tommy, I take Tasha. Uh, Emma, when I met her in Chicago, we was going, we was doing the rap competitions and the comedy clubs. If you can't do a strip club, a church, uh, <laughs> real talk, mm-hmm. the park on Saturday when when brothers are, are, are tired and relaxing, if you can't do these places, you're not uh, at, at, the, at the epitome of being a spoken word artist. You're still reciting your poetry. Mm-hmm. And that's the truth. We got to we got to be real about that and know how to deliver to every audience. Like I just did the air traffic controllers Black History program. The air traffic controllers. <laughs> Do yeah. you hear me? Mm-hmm. So this is not just Black people. This is definitely not low so called economic people. This is a plethora of people. Uh, all in one room because you know the white people in their white guilt had to come out to the Black History Program. You know they had to see what the black people was doing, and um, it what was you know said to me over and over again by the black people is I love how you yourself and you so intelligent and you so this that and the other. So then, because- so then, so then, Georgia, uh, when when you are performing in front, when you performed in front of the air traffic controllers for that black history program and you knew that the room was a mixture of uh, different um, uh, ethnicities then do you not use certain words particularly the n-word or profanity or something like that I mean what is it that you eliminate when you know that it's a it's a it's a, a room that is it's different well I don't eliminate anything unless the person who brought me tells me we need you not to use these words, that and whatnot. Other than that, I'm a poet. I'm free to say whatever I want. Okay. I'm not going to say anything that's going to um, uh, disrespect the crowd or, you know, alienate anyone. That's not the point of it. I use, like, with the Black History Program, I started off talking to the white people. It was like, I'm so glad y'all came out to learn, learn about us. I love living in Atlanta. We got good white folks. I don't <laughs> act like it's an elephant in the room. I address it. Right. You feel me? Right. And you gonna hear what you gonna hear and if you got a problem with that, you got a problem with that. I just did um uh, Eastern Tennessee State University on Thursday. That's a white school. Okay? And it was a lot of black people, it was a lot of white people. I address the white people and how this word is gonna be used and how you're not privy to say it, even though you're sixty percent African. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I and that's just in that when I was on Broadway, I was like, How am I gonna do do this when I did their poetry. I never thought niggas would ever be on TV, or I would get to say it all over the planet. But I'm a poet, so I'm allowed to say whatever I want to say. As people, we are. But as a poet, that's my duty. That's my job to say what people won't say. So I appropriate for an audience. I'm not going to be up there with no f words and no uh, mfs in front of no kids. Uh, just did a saving our daughters event. Uh, with Kiki Wide on Friday, um, and we in it's, it's adults. It's all women, but it's a it's it's an it's an atmosphere where you don't need to be saying no explicative. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to appropriate yourself for the area you in. But that takes time. That takes practice. That takes trial and error. That you know what I'm saying? I, I, it's so many things you learn as you do this that it allows you to be able to survey a room and know what to do that's going to get the most benefit in this room. I you know say, what I'm saying? I say off the rip. Um, if uh, if I do an audio uh, performance and it's mostly white, I'm definitely saying the word nigga. <laughs> I am. I, I'm definitely saying it. I'm definitely saying it. I'm, I'm more, such radical. No, it's, it's not even about being radical as much as uh, I'm going to show you how you use this thing. I'm not even going to give you the... I'm not going to give no disclaimers <laughs> on nothing. I'm going to show you how this word nigga is used. You know what I'm saying? I'm more like I'm more likely inclined not to use it in a room full of black people. Because to me, black people have more problem with the word than white folks. Oh, yeah. You All know right. what I'm saying? Like right. I've done law schools. Room full of white folks. I'm talking about uh, professors, the whole shot. I don't edit nothing. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't. I love doing an all white audience. Mm-hmm. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I, I love it's going. It's easier too because yeah, you know, I love it. You, they want to hear that. What you're doing? They they're don't amazed. want you to say n word. They don't. They don't. White folk uh, uh, who do to these things, they want to hear the real. They want to hear the nigga experience. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> no real talk. <laughs> the nigga experience is is played out all the time. We see it all the time. There is there is a, you know, when you see. I mean, 
hit the nigga experience has been on sale for a long time. People buy it up. That's what hip hop is. I he- mean, and 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 I have to interject. That's what passion and poetry does. Because yeah. when I used to get. Uh, you know, I'm, real, I'm not really into poetry, and I said you gonna you gonna be into this. I promise you, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. And how the 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 people loved it from its erotic, mm-hmm. you know, standpoint. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like that's what I'm presenting. Mm-hmm. Believe me, I can do the inspiration. We can mm-hmm. do the revolution. Yeah, 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 the the yeah, revolution yeah. have been televised. Yeah. I said, but but for this platform, it's about love. It's about romance. Let's just you want to break it down. It's about getting you some. It's mm-hmm. about screwing after yeah. you leave. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or oh, go to the bathroom and get. Well, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That's just don't get caught. <laughs> just don't get caught. And, and the rest, and the rest of it, George, can be sold. It's just in how it's presented. You've seen the show on Broadway, right? And how we brought up every topic there is to bring up, and it was presented in a way where you could eat it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what the and Tommy said. Nothing true. The the most critical audiences are our own people. Yes. I never get. We're the most critical. Me. We're the most critical of every. Thing, mm-hmm. you know, to, to 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 be uh, uh, of success. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, you know what? Here's a personal note. L- look at this. If you go, if you go and look at other internet stuff that's mm-hmm. going on, it ain't got the same presentation mm-hmm. because they ain't got a DJ heard. Mm-hmm. But trying to get the damn support, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, damn, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like get, it's like get black folks get behind it. Yeah, you wanna and 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 the Trayvon stuff. That yeah, it's necessary. We gotta mm-hmm. let folks know we mm-hmm. we 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 this this guy was 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 killed uh, maliciously uh, or or whatever. But also get behind people who are doing worthy good things without it being star studded mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, all the damn mm-hmm. time. But it is, I'm gonna say this, George, it is in that, like real talk, we don't uplift the people who do good and are the stars of our community, period. I don't, I'm, I mean, not just me, but especially in this book, we're talking about spoken word, there are stars. I'm one of them. And as a poet, it's hard to say, you know, you say, uh, you be humble about it. But yeah, I'm humble about it, but God put me in that, that position. Right. It ain't many people who done did the amount of things that I've done and, and have seen that to the point where people meet me, they're crying. You know what I'm saying? That's not no regular stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that, sh- that should be applauded. And not just, I mean, so many of us are doing such amazing things. We look at it like it's nothing because we're so humble about it. And we're so easily approachable. And, 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 the- and, and, and that's why, Georgia, I don't do open mic for passion and poetry. I, you better be seasoned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You better be able to move 956 people and maybe 980 because 30 of them was my family and they came in through the back door with no ticket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you got to be able to do that. You got to be a professional. And that's why I said, you know, I know she'll come if I said, Georgia, it's all I got. I know she'll She'll come, mm. but for me mm. to know that she is a star, that mm. she has every, I love standing up, introducing her, and mm. saying, "Tony Award winner, mm. have traveled all over the world." As a matter of fact, she just flew in from that gum Venice just to be on this <laughs> damn stage. I love, I I love saying that because it's a level of respect that I have for her. Mm. It's a level of respect. You won me when you stood up there at Uptown Comedy Corner <laughs> with that damn Heineken. I remember you were at. At, at, at 595 and he came on stage he didn't have a Heineken or a cocktail I'm like hell no oh, yeah, George, stop the show. She's like, I'm like hell, hell no <laughs> stop stop get this nigga <laughs> get him a drink <laughs> so he can go off and then he said I don't do I don't do no love poetry <laughs> but I mean it's, it's, it's the level of respect that people have to have and people like me are willing to give it, we, we are definitely willing to give and, and and I didn't mean to discredit your your star quality uh uh Georgia. I, oh, I'm that, just saying that how we look at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that that the person who is, you know, the outstanding teacher who has, you know, love of uh, three generations of kids, they deserve honoring. Like we right. just uh, black people in black in these progressive cities with all these degrees and all of this, we don't honor the good. We only right. recognize the bad and the janky and the embarrassment. Right. But we give no light to the accomplishments and the 
and the beauty of people out here working hard and being decent and righteous. Right. That's all. That's and and and, and I'm with you four thousand six hundred and eighty percent. <laughs> you know, because it is it is a whole bunch of people who are doing those things and and deserve that form of recognition. Um, you know, the, 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 the day that she does and recognizing the promoters who are in it passionately and recognizing the poets and everybody that are doing what they need to do to make their moves. I got a text the other day from Teresa Songbird. She coming up on March 30th. I'm like, come on in. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's promote this thing. So, I mean, we have to embrace each other. We have to, from, from a, from a promoter and a person that has a voice, I have to keep this movement um bo, bo ellis i mean <laughs> they're none other yeah. <laughs> than a bo ellis uh who also is coming up on passion and poetry i love this dynamic duo uh high in reality mm. i you know s put some fire behind mm. them mm. them two sisters need to be places because mm. they i mean it's a, it's a it's a it's a balance mm. you know that 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 they present like mm -hmm. I can always tell when uh, Renita uh, reality getting ready to get in your ass mm -hmm. she gonna take her skirt and she gonna yeah, lift yeah, it up yeah, yeah, and then yeah, you better yeah, embrace yeah, yeah. cause yeah. she about to get in yeah. your ass yeah. when, she, yeah. when she lift up her skirt That's true. <laughs> but anyway I don't want to disrespect uh, Miss Sophia her show is coming up ATL Girl Talk but I want to thank Tommy I want to thank Georgia for waking up uh, and and you don't sound like a man now uh, <laughs> <laughs> for uh, for giving me this for giving me this this insight because I had to answer those questions mm -hmm. from just a promoter standpoint mm -hmm. and from a promoter standpoint I felt like you you open it up saying mm -hmm. they aren't putting enough in it mm -hmm. they aren't putting the the dollars and the cents mm -hmm. and the and the work ethic mm -hmm. you know behind it mm -hmm. uh, whether you are a a poet who's putting on the show mm -hmm. or you're someone like me who mm -hmm. have uh, opportunity mm -hmm. to uh, to put on the show, uh, but again, you know, I wish you all the best in whatever way I can play. Georgia will call. <laughs> whatever way I can play, please don't ever um, hesitate to, um, to to holler at me. Uh, Passion and Poetry is coming March uh, 16th, Center Stage Theater. Great poetry. Uh, Malcolm Jamal, uh, Tasha Jones, uh, High in Reality, uh, Bo Ellis, and. Um, I'm going to introduce uh, Mr. Jack Daniels. He has a poem, uh, I Need a Wife. And, and so we're going to give him an opportunity to express himself uh, <laughs> on, uh, on, on the stage. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave Tommy, uh, leave you all with this. Um, there's a male group, a big social group, male group that, um, that I know very well. And three of the members... Three of the members, well, three of the, two of the members have been coming ever since I started. A third member came last year mm. when you all got up there and showed out. <laughs> <laughs> when it was against the men mm. and, and the women. Mm. It's over 30 people mm. in that group. Those three men went back and talked so much about the performance mm. that all 30 of them sold damn near 60 tickets. Mm. That's the impact mm -hmm. that if you give the professional poets and their message mm -hmm. and opportunity, mm -hmm. they can land you. And we're going to end with that. Yes. You can get them. You just got to give them the opportunity. You can give them. Miss Sophia, you ready? ATL Girl Talk is on the way. Y'all grab those tickets. They're going fast. Uh, log on to LatelConceptsLLC.com or call 678-459-416 nine for more uh details georgia have a great one 